biggest contributing factors to obesity is snacky. A lot of us love to snack. And I would always tell people like, but I really don't eat a lot, guys. I really didn't eat a lot. It wasn't the food, but I snacked a lot. Doesn't matter if it's healthy snacks or not, guys. It's snacking. The average person has about four to five snacks a day. The average person has about three to four beverage snacks on a daily basis. This is the cycle that we go through. You put food in your mouth, your blood sugar levels go high. Your insulin levels are going to go high because it's going to force your blood sugar levels to go down. So when your blood sugar levels go down, guess what happens, guys? It stimulates hunger and cravings. If it's stimulating hunger and cravings, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to feel like, well, I guess it's time for me to eat again because I'm hungry. But then you put food in your mouth again. Blood sugar levels go high. Insulin level goes high to force your blood sugar levels to go down. Guess what? Stimulates hunger, stimulates craving. All over again. So now I'm going to put some more food back in my mouth and I'm going to do it again. And this is a cycle that we constantly just keep on going through. Same cycle over and over and over again. Doesn't matter if it's healthy foods or not, guys. You're constantly going through the same cycle over and over again. So this cycle that you're putting yourself through is causing your body to produce a high amount of insulin. You understand what that's doing to your body? Yes or no? Drop me a comment. Yes or no?